Hey, it's Mark Mason from MasonWorld.com, and I've been playing around tonight with the latest download of Micro Niche Finder by James Jones. James has added some features, and quite frankly, they're so cool, I thought it would be fun to go ahead and make a video and show you what's going on with Micro Niche Finder 4.62, I think is the version I have here. I was having a conversation with someone about their pet grooming site. Actually, they had a site about pet care, and one of the sub-niches on the site was pet grooming. So in order to facilitate that discussion, as I often do, I just cranked open Micro Niche Finder to get an idea what the keywords were. So I just typed in dog grooming, and because I was trying to niche down a little bit from pet grooming. And what Micro Niche Finder does is it goes off to the Google Keyword External Tool and it pulls some stuff. And as you can see, I've been monkeying around in here a little bit in Micro Niche Finder looking at some of these different keywords. Now, what you're usually looking for when you use Micro Niche Finder for niche marketing as opposed to pay per click, when you use it for niche marketing, usually what you're looking for is a keyword with some traffic and you're looking for a keyword that doesn't have a ton of competition. Now, a lot of people debate how you determine whether or not there's competition, and I'm not here to tell you what the right way is. I just want to show you some of the cool stuff that Micro Niche Finder does. So, one thing that you can do is you can see how many keywords, how many websites, web pages there are, rather, that exactly match the phrase that you're looking at. So let's say you're looking at dog grooming and you want to know, you see that there are 90,000 global searches for that uh, every month and you want to understand how many pages have exactly the phrase dog grooming on them. Well there's 1.7 million. We can bet that that's going to be very competitive and in fact if you click on strength of competition James tells you there's a thousand uh, strength of competition score is a thousand which he considers high which is why it's marked in red and so that doesn't look very good like a very good place to go do niche marketing because it looks pretty competitive well maybe we could go something a little bit more narrow like dog grooming supplies we see that there are 8100 searches per month there and when we get the exact phrase count we see that there's only 83,000 competing pages James evaluates the strength of competition as 53, which he considers barely into the caution region. And now he's added a new feature called the measure of backlinks. This is his estimate of how many quality backlinks you would need to get on the first page of Google. Now, I don't know what the algorithm is. I haven't tested it. I don't know if it works. But I, I do understand that what he's doing is he's going to Yahoo Site Explorer and looking at the top 10 results and seeing how many backlinks they have. And based on that, he's making some estimate of how many backlinks you would need to beat people who are already on the first page of Google. So that makes sense. I don't know the exact algorithm that he's using, but I understand what he's trying to do, and, and it makes sense. He says 384. That sounds a little high to me. I don't really want to mess with that for a simple niche site. So I, can't, I come down here some more, and I looked at uh, dog grooming scissors. And sure enough, there are 3,000 searches for dog grooming scissors every month. And if I look at the exact phrase count, I see that uh, while there are a, a ton of websites with the phrase dog grooming scissors on them, James estimates the strength of competition to be green at 14. That's pretty cool. So let's see what he says about the measure of backlinks. Well, it turns out that the measure of backlinks for dog grooming scissors is pretty low. And when it comes back here, you'll see that actually it's very low at a value of 1. So you can look at that and see what he sees by clicking on the number and you get this cool thing where you see these different websites that are ranking for the term dog grooming scissors. These have very few backlinks. Now that's pretty neat. It's a brand new tool. I haven't tested it. So let's test it. One of the things that you can do to maximize your chance to win a keyword is to register the exact domain. And you can see what happens. Uh, he's got a domain column here, 
In fact, if you go up to the top, you can see it's the availability of the domain. If we go back down to dog grooming scissors, you can see I'd already clicked on it. When you clicked on click on these, what it tells you is whether or not dog. Uh, the keyword .com, .net, and .org is available. And sure enough, it turns out that it looks like, .org is in the middle, it looks like dog grooming scissors should be available for us to buy. So let's go buy that and throw up a site. That's pretty cool. So I've already, as it happens, I do business with Namecheap, log into my Namecheap account, and sure enough, we can go see if... Uh, dog grooming scissors is available dog grooming scissors is that available and the answer is absolutely dog grooming scissors dot org is available great that's exactly what we want we want a dot org a dot net or a dot com let's buy it we add to cart do an express checkout. Oh, let's put in the coupon code here. Save a dollar. Always good to save a dollar. And use funds available in my account. And proceed to secure payment. Charge and process. So we've bought the domain. So next what we're going to do, which is really cool, we'll do in the next video, we're going to go to FirePal which is a product that uh, you can use to quickly generate websites and we're just going to throw up a website on this domain. Again, my name is Mark Mason from MasonWorld.com and we're just having fun with dog grooming scissors. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks.